My name is Ellen Kampman. I'm a full professor of nutrition and disease at Wageningen University in the Netherlands. Hi, I'm Habi Soler and I'm doing my PhD at Wageningen University. And my PhD is about coffee consumption and colorectal cancer prognosis. We are studying people who are diagnosed with colorectal cancers or large bowel cancer, and we're following them in time for five, ten years to see how they are doing, uh, whether they have return of their cancer uh, and how they are surviving. In these analysis, we're looking specifically at coffee intake. Higher coffee consumption, so consuming more than four cups of coffee per day, was associated with a lower risk of colorectal cancer recurrent. And for all cause mortality, we also see that coffee could help to improve survivor, but there seems to be like a non-linear association and um, three to five cups of coffee per day seem optimal. It shows that people who drink coffee have a lower risk of the return of a tumor and also a higher survival compared to people who drink less or no coffee. It's good that we see this association, but the next step would be to understand the mechanism that could be driving the association before we could go ahead to prescribe it for colorectal cancer patients. We also have blood samples from these people, and these are currently being shipped to the WHO IR Institute in Lyon, where we will measure these samples and look for the different metabolites. <laughs> Not in our study. Uh, and I haven't seen other studies showing a particular uh, positive effect of tea on cancer. It does, however, prevent against certain types of cardiovascular disease. I'm very happy with the results as I'm a coffee drinker.